lot of men that I know have not quite hit puberty yet. Uh, 28, my mom says. Yeah. Oh, is that the age? 28 is the age, according to my mother, where men and women sort of catch up to each other. Hi, everybody. I am Priya Rao with the First Weekend Club, and I'm sitting here with the lead actor and the writer slash director, caterer. What else did you do there? Um, I didn't actually cater. Wrote some songs. There you go. Yeah, well, heck, composer. that's a lot. Composer and Brad, welcome. Thank you very much. Great uh, to be here. The Prodigal Dad. No, I know what you thought. I know what you thought. You thought I was going to The Prodigal Son. Been there, done that, moving on. Yeah, this is a different story. Yes. What is the story, Rob? Um, it's a story... Um, well, we're just calling it It's Never Too Late for a Coming of Age Story because we all go through phases of growing up through life. And uh, um, our character, George, played by Brad, um, he chooses to go through uh, puberty uh, a third time. A lot of men that I know have not quite hit puberty yet. Uh, 28, my mom says. Yeah. Oh, is that the age? 28 is the age, according to my mother, where men and women sort of catch up to each other. She's uh, a smart woman. Before then, men are just morons and like children. I did not say that. Women, uh, they mature quicker. So, Brad, tell us about uh, this prodigal dad. Uh, this prodigal dad is uh, going through some life-changing experiences. Mm -hmm. He's uh, searching for a connection to life that he feels like maybe he's missed uh, while being a dad and a husband. And... Um, he tries to find that through his daughter and her friends, which is works, yeah. but uh, it, there's some struggle. Now, you had your screening here at the Whistler Film Festival, and it was an incredibly well-received film. So what did that feel like? Oh, it felt, uh, felt wonderful. Very, very grateful for the response. And uh, yeah, it was it was great. But it was you know it was the everybody worked so hard and the performances are so great. So it's um, it's uh, it's a real testament to everybody's contribution and work. Yeah, and Brad, what do you think people will take away from this film? Like, what do you want people to know about this film? Um, it's just a really nice telling of uh, a tale that I think, uh, to some degree, whether we've been through the experience or not, it's family and it's relationship. And I think you can really, everybody will relate to some part of it. Um, and I think you'll just enjoy, there was a spirit making it that I think is on the screen, mm -hmm. that ended up on the screen. And I think that's kind of, uh, for me, one of the best things about the film is when I saw it yesterday for the first time, um, the work we put in and the enjoyment that we had and the uh, relationships that we had and it, it's on there and you can see it and apparently people laughed they got a little teary it has a, a bit of everything in terms of the emotional journey it takes you on I hope so the idea was um, that all the emotions that you go through are like all the emotions in life just packed into a tight 90 minutes yeah. that's what we're looking for a perfect little snapshot of life and feelings that we all go through right yeah yeah. So the prodigal son, look out for it because we've got it coming to a theater near you. Well, not we, but you know. Someone what do you got? Does. Did I say the prodigal son? See, because I'm thinking what you're thinking, but I want to change what you're thinking. It's the prodigal dad. Prodigal dad. Starring this guy, written by this guy. Thanks, folks. This was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.